Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I'm Andrew, and we're here to bring you the news. In case you weren't one of the 25 students that got to see our first AVTV broadcast, uh, this is the new AVTV, and here we will be telling you what's going on around the quad in Amador's clubs, and we will feature stories about students and teachers here at AV. This way, everyone will be in the loop. Today is Tuesday, September 22nd, 2011. Let's see what we have going on today. Last Friday, Amador students, parents, and fans came together to support the school by attending the annual pigskin roast. There were booths from many of Amador's clubs, including the UNICEF Club, the Catering, and the Art Club, and most of Amador's sports teams had booths as well. Fans of AV could buy anything from cookies, popcorn, cotton candy, and other baked goods, to t-shirts, foam fingers, and hair feathers. As usual, the event was a huge success. Now, if you missed pigskin this year, but are still looking to purchase some of the items, it's not too late. Many of the items you saw will be sold again at future games, but the Art Club is also going to be having its annual holiday bazaar right after Thanksgiving break on December 8th, so you'll be able to purchase these items again. The Aloha Dance occurred last Friday night as well, after freak lightning storms hit the Bay Area two weeks ago and forced school administrators to cancel the Aloha Dance, it was rescheduled to last Friday. Over 450 tickets were sold, and students danced the night away to music by the 99.7 DJ. Now for our next segment, we have the Administrator's Corner. Uh, these segments include important announcements made to us by the administrative staff here at Amador. Today, our clip comes from our, our principal, Mr. Hansen. Morning, everyone. And now that we're into our fifth week, I hope you've had a great start to the year. From what I can see, uh, that's very true. Um, one of the things we haven't talked about yet, and I know everybody uh, that's been here knows about the Amador Way, but for the sake of our new students, uh, I just want to tell you what that is. The Amador Way is um, just a way of doing things that encompasses those character traits of compassion, honesty, respect, responsibility, integrity, and self-discipline. And those are the traits that were adopted by the community of character, which encompasses the whole town of Pleasanton and the school district. So uh, just a reminder that that's what we're about, being compassionate, being honest, being respectful, and having responsibility, help, having self-discipline uh, self and integrity. So um, as you go about your daily life, think about those things. One thing I just want to kind of throw in there too as part of respect and compassion and responsibility is that a minor thing, but it becomes a big thing for a lot of people, is, is just trash on the, on the tables at lunchtime. What I've been impressed with uh, over time is getting a little less severe, and uh, anytime I ask somebody or any of our uh, teachers or staff ask someone to pick up trash, they do it pretty willingly. Um, but they shouldn't have to. Uh, the kids that are sitting there should remember that it's a sign of respect and uh, their responsibility to, to bust their own trash. So that's my uh, uh, observation. Um, welcome to the school year, and I hope everything continues to go well. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Hanson. In sports today, we have news about Amador's football team. The varsity team won their game against Washington last Friday, putting them at the 2-1 and one record. Coach Sierra has big plans for the team this season. I'm happy to tell you uh, a little bit about our football team this year. Uh, currently, we've played three games. We're one, and our one loss was by three points to Freedom High School, who was undefeated. Um, very pleased with our progress um, thus far this year. I think our senior leadership um, has been outstanding. Our juniors are, have done a great job as well. I was very impressed with this group of kids uh, during the off season. Uh, they want to work hard, they want to be coached, and uh, they want to be a good football team. I think uh, because of all of those things, and combined with their athletic ability, I think we're heading in that direction. We have a bye this week, so we don't have a game. Uh, the following week we start league in the EBL, which is uh, one of the very best leagues in the whole state of California, and we're looking forward to that challenge. Uh, I really enjoy these kids and the fact that they they want to get better and they want to compete against the best 
and I really can't wait to see how things unfold for them. In other news, seniors at Amador participated in the annual senior picnic at Waterworld again this year. This morning began with a light breakfast provided at the fairgrounds, and then students packed into buses and headed off to Concord. The weather was hot, and students had all access paths to the attractions of Waterworld. The seniors joined the other, the other senior classes from schools around the East Bay for this day of fun celebrating their senior year. I heard it was a good time. Around campus this week, we had a lot going on. The ASL club's first meeting will be tomorrow in room P4 during lunch. You don't need to be able to sign to participate, so everyone is welcome. In addition, girls golf plays on Tuesday against Foothill, and on Thursday they take on Crondelet. Girls tennis plays at, takes on Cal High on Tuesday, and they play at San Ramon Valley on Thursday. Girls volleyball will play away all week. They will be at Crondelet on Tuesday and Granada on Thursday. And finally, Thursday, the boys and girls water polo teams play at Granada. So make sure you come out and support all these teams. Well, that's it for the news today. Um, and thanks for joining us. And remember, it's always a beautiful day here at Amador. It's a beautiful day.